Hey guys, it's Jake with VNH. Today, Bobby, the cameraman, and I are out in the field flying the Autel Robotics' newest powerhouse drone, the EVO 2. Building on the success of the EVO 1, the EVO 2 has been improved in almost every way. The drone lineup features three different models ranging in specs based on your needs as a filmmaker. Because the camera system is modular, you can swap each camera model out with a different one on the same drone. The camera that comes on the standard model, which we're using today, is an incredibly high 8K resolution camera. Yes, you heard me right, 8K. We're in the future now, folks. The camera features a half-inch 48 megapixel sensor offering a stunning high amount of resolution for both video and still images. The EVO 2 Pro model comes with a larger 1-inch 20 megapixel sensor that can shoot up to 6K resolution. Having a larger sensor will really expand the performance of the camera and benefit higher resolutions. Plus, there is the added benefit of the lenses having a variable aperture ranging from f2.8 down to f11. The EVO 2 Dual features both a 6K camera and a thermal imaging camera that are built into the same unit. The added benefit of a thermal imaging camera makes the EVO 2 a professional solution for conducting site surveys and even search and rescue missions. So the big selling feature on the standard model has to be its 8K resolution. No other folding arm drone this size has that level of resolution, and the detail is unlike anything I've seen in the drones that I've flown. Video can be recorded in MOV or MP4 format, and the EVO 2 utilizes both the H.264 and H.265 codecs. There's a 10-bit log mode for pushing your video further in post-production, and it has HDR support as well. The lens on the camera is a fixed 26mm f1.8. It also features phase detect autofocus for high levels of accuracy. The ISO range for video is 100 to 6400 and 100 to 3200 for stills. The EVO 2 comes with a good variety of resolutions and frame rates that you can utilize depending on your needs. It can record up to 25 frames per second in 8K, 30 frames per second in 6K, 60 frames per second in 4K, 120 frames per second in 2.7K, and 120 frames per second in Full HD. If you're looking for increased speed, you can switch the drone into ludicrous mode in the menu system, allowing for a top speed of 45 miles per hour. I tried to outrun it, but uh, it just wasn't happening. In addition to manual flight mode, there are eight autonomous intelligent modes to choose from. These modes are ideal for letting the drone do all the work when tracking or following a subject. We tested out a few of them and they performed really well. With Dynamic Track 2.0, the EVO 2 will track a subject such as a person, vehicle, or animal and stick with it. This mode even allows for the recognizing of up to 64 objects at the same time. Orbit mode will lock onto a subject as its center point and then orbit that subject either clockwise or counterclockwise at the radius of your choosing. With tripod track mode, the drone will simulate being on a tripod by tracking a subject but not flying towards or away from it. The drone will just stay put but follow with the camera. Another really cool mode in the drone is the ability to take hyperlapse photos and videos. The EVO 2 records JPEGs and RAW files simultaneously while following a preset flight path so you can achieve incredible time lapses with motion in 8K. Other modes include parallel track mode for following a subject from the side, viewpoint mode for flying towards an object at the speed of your choice, gesture mode for controlling the drone with gestures you make with your body, precision mode limits the drone speed and rotation for more stable shots at low altitudes, and dual stability mode limits the drone speed and braking for more overall stable video recording. Moving on to the physical side of things, the drone body is compact but feels very sturdy. Weighing in at 4.4 pounds, it features folding arms that open and close for storage or when in flight. Around the body, you'll find 12 positioning cameras for omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. They're located on all six sides of the drone, so you don't have to worry when flying above or underneath an obstacle. Having this feature on all sides of the drone helped ease my nerves just a little bit when flying close to obstacles. The four corners of the drone don't have sensors though, so you'll need to be careful if you're approaching any object diagonally. Supporting the camera is a three-axis gimbal with pitch, roll, and yaw control. It comes with a sturdy plastic shield to keep the camera and gimbal in place when the drone is being transported. At 7100 milliamps, the battery in the EVO 2 is substantial and makes up a good portion of the weight in the body, but for good reason. This battery provides an impressive 40 minutes of flight time and 35 minutes of hover time without wind. 
Having a few extra minutes on flight time with a drone in this weight class can be the difference between getting the shot or having to land and swap batteries. On the side of the drone is a slot for a single micro SD card and can accommodate card sizes up to 256 gigabytes. If you find yourself without a card but you need to get a shot, the Evo 2 has 8 gigabytes of storage built in. This onboard storage can be accessed via a USB-C port on the side of the body. The controller for the Evo 2 is similar to that of the Evo 1. It features a 3.3 inch OLED screen on its front that displays certain flight status indicators for the drone. A piece on the front flips upward to hold your mobile device in place and use it as your monitor for the drone's camera. I appreciate this design because I didn't have to take my phone out of its case to mount it into the controller. Downloading the Autel Explorer app will give you full access to all the drone's features right from your phone. If your phone runs out of juice, the Evo 2 can still be flown with just the controller in a pinch. You'll be flying with limited features, but you'll still be able to capture content on the fly by switching to live view mode. The operating frequency of the controller is 2.4 GHz. When flying, you'll have up to 5.59 miles of transmission distance, and the Evo 2 can even operate in Force 8 winds, which range from 39 miles per hour to 46 miles per hour. That's basically a gale wind. You can fly this thing in a gale wind. Not that I would. This is extremely high considering the weight and size of the drone. Now, if you're looking for a higher quality transmission feed from the Evo 2, then you're in luck. Sold separately is the Live Deck. This device receives a feed from the Evo 2 up to 4.35 miles away and can provide a 1080p 60 frames per second video output. You can output via HDMI, Ethernet, or USB to another device and monitor your shots in style. So with the release of Autel's Evo 2 lineup, there are more options available to remote pilot in a single system than ever before. You got 6K, 8K, and even thermal imaging. So what do you plan on making with the new Evo 2 from Autel? Let me know in the comments below. This is Jake with B&H. Just keep flying.